What's going on good people? I hope you guys are having a good day. Now the last time that we spoke about the stimulus check, remember it, Congress did pass this $900 billion COVID relief package. It then went to the Senate. After it went to the Senate, they decided to send it to President Trump. Now as a reminder, President Trump did refute that bill. He thought the $600 for the stimulus payment for each adult was just not enough. He decided that he was not going to sign it unless it was $2,000 going directly to the American people's hands or $4,000 for each couple. Those were his requirements. However, what ended up happening is Congress went back and decided to do some provisions to it. They decided to actually create a standalone bill adding the additional funds President Trump felt was needed. Again, that was instead of the $600, it was going to be $2,000 for a stimulus check, uh, which in my personal opinion, I agreed with, I agreed with that decision. Now, as a reminder, we did not want the government to shut down, so they wanted to make sure that they had a bill or a plan in place. They have indeed done the provisions that Donald Trump had asked, they have sent that back to him, and we are pending trying to see if he is going to sign that specific bill with the new provisions in place. Hey guys, really quick, as I was spamming this, I did actually find out that the GOP on Thursday did block the $600 to $2,000, that little increase there. They did actually block that uh, in the House of Representatives, so that is no longer happening. So pretty much this entire deal is at jeopardy now, so, uh, so I just wanted to make sure I give you guys the most updated information. We are still waiting on a deal to be released. It could take one to two weeks for Treasury to get cash into the American people's hands, and that's after a new legislation is signed. So again, I wanna make sure that I'm making this very clear. This is me updating Future Asia here. That $2,000 per adult increase has actually been shot down by the House Republicans. So that was shut down here. So they are still negotiating things. Now, as a reminder, in March under that CARES Act, it was $1,200 for adults. It was $2,400 for couples. And then it was $500 credit per child uh, that is not considered an adult. I wanted to make sure that I was giving you guys that updated information back to the video. And I want to read what the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, did state. She stated that the House and the Senate are now sending this important legislation for the people to the White House for the President's signature. We urge him to sign this bill into law to give immediate relief to hardworking families. Now, currently, Trump is at his favorite place in Florida, probably playing golf for the holidays. If you did not know, today is Christmas Day, so uh, a lot of things are going slow. If there is not an agreement by Monday, again, today is Friday, if there is not an agreement by Monday, that will actually cause a government shutdown again. So we are hoping that Trump does sign this. Now, in the event that he does sign this, it could be another week or two before those checks do start to come to the American people. Uh, another thing that Trump wanted to do as a reminder was to get rid of all the foreign aid. Uh, I went through that in my last video. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Also, if you're new here, definitely subscribe. But in my previous video, he called this a COVID-19 relief package, but there were so many things that were irrelevant to COVID. For instance, counting all the amberjack fish in the Gulf of Mexico, I think there was like a two to five million dollar uh, budget for relief for that specific thing. There was also the Smithsonian had a million dollars, but again, the Smithsonian's been canceled. Um, so there was just no need for that amount to be in the COVID relief package. It should have been more so focused on the American people is the point I believe he was trying to make. Now, as a reminder, there were talks about that foreign relief package. They wanted to take some of that foreign aid out. That did not fail. Talks between the Republicans and other members in the Congress just were not able to come to an agreement for that. So that is still in there. However, that $2,000 direct payment that Trump requested is in there. It has been flown to Trump for his signature. So if he does sign that again, and I think I said this a little earlier in this video, it may be one to two weeks before you will start to see those checks coming in. So probably right after the holidays. Uh, today is Christmas, so it will probably be right after the holidays when you will start to see those $2,000 checks for a single person and the $4,000 checks for a couple. Now, one thing that took me by surprise is Congress could have actually overrided the veto once Trump threatened to not sign it, but they didn't do that, which was a good thing because of what Trump stated. They could have actually overwritten it um, and decided to pass it through the Senate with a vote of two thirds or greater. Remember, we have to understand how the powers of government actually works. Mm -hmm. And as a reminder, the Democrats did state they are pushing for a third 
relief package. This will be once Biden comes in after January 20th, Inauguration Day, uh, to potentially send directly to the American families as well. So I say all of this to say if Trump does not sign any provisions, any new provisions by Monday, we will have a government shutdown which could potentially roll into when Biden is projected to start, which would be January the 20th. So I guess we will just see. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will continue to keep you guys updated with the latest on the stimulus checks. We'll talk again very, very soon. Bye guys.